Hello friends, today we will discuss about the VRs. Okay, let us see what is the role of VRs in the field of your watershed management and irrigation aspect. When there is a, a rainfall, okay, the amount, large amount of water may flow in your canal or river. With this, the higher velocity of water may move in downstream from upstream. So when the upstream velocity is higher, if you not control, the, there is a large scouring of your canal, channels and rivers. So it will create the problem in the terms of your sedimentation and it will carry to the fissure wire. So as this, the huge damage to the, your downstream structures. In this condition, we want to reduce the speed of your flow of water and to stop the velocity or we can create the head. So in this condition, we will create the structures across your river canal so that to, it will create the uh, little bit storage of water and also it will stop the or it will reduce the velocity of your flowing water okay the structures which has been constructed across the river it will create a little bit head and the water remaining water is flows over through structures so okay so this is called your simply via and the water flows excess water flows over through your weir and it is similar to your reservoir but where the reservoir may store the large amount of water reservoir has the emergency spillways okay are called simple gates not but in the weir such provision has been not available it's only create little bit head and excess water may flows over through weir in the field of irrigation where the water distributing among the uh, in each field of farmers in this condition we want to measure the quantity of water which we are distributing to the particular field so it is in every point it is difficult to measure so in this condition we construct a structures that can measure the amount of water in particular field so in two condition it will help one is you are reduce this velocity of water we also measure the quantity of your water which we are moving to particular field okay so now in this condition the vrs we can define that concrete or masonry structure which constructed across your canal river or irrigation channels its terminologies the amount of water has been the amount of water has been stored behind your weir. This is the water has been stored behind your weir is called simply weir pond. Okay, see here. This is the amount of water has been stored behind your weir. This is called your weir pond. Okay, and the amount of water excess is moving. This is the excess water moving. This is your excess water moving. Okay, so this is the excess water. Excess water moving over a weir. It's called your simply head and see the amount of water when it's coming from your upstream to downstream so the uh, the shape of water has been changing here the shape of water has been changing it means due to the gravity and due to acceleration of gravity so the way the little curve has been changing the equal this if you say the horizontal line this is the horizontal line okay this is the horizontal line so here the shape of water means it is moving or is it tending is it moving downward so that's called your simply uh, velocity head due to acceleration and they are distance this is called where the curve has been changing to your crease so this is your sharp portion of your weir that is called your simply sharp crease we can say where the amount of water flowing over a weir the amount of water flowing over a weir it's called your simply crease okay so that is your simply here the difference between your where the water has been changing and to the particular crest so that is your distance of particular crest this is your simple drawdown and this is your simple water level and the head has been measured how much amount of head particular head stable head we can measure here that is your four times of your h so suppose this is your h okay this is your h so we can measure the distance four times of your h in back side of your weir pond okay and this is simply your two times of your that's called your equal height of crest this is your two times of h this is your upstream side this is your downstream side and this is your 
crest width so this is the crest width this is the crest width see here this is your crest width okay this is your crest width and, and so here the velocity uh, we discussed just now the velocity from your upstream side it is very higher and we are creating obstruction where you created that's why the velocity has been a little bit reduced so this is the pattern how the velocity distribution has been taking place in a particular vm okay now construction of your vm may be depends on your three parameter that is your uh, canal or channel width okay and the amount of water stored in upstream side that is may depend on your rainfall condition or your irrigation amount of water available behind your pond and the volume of water flowing over a crystal bit we discussed just now the weir the weir weir pond nappy that's called your sheet of water flowing through a weir this nappy or vein we can call this this is your nappy the sheet of water the sheet of water has been flowing this is the sheet of water created this has been created due to your sharp crest this is your sharp crest so this has been nappy has been created because to whether the flow is in free fall condition or submerged condition also we can analyze the nappy helps in analyzing the your flow characteristics okay the sharp crested uh, where the nappy has been created with the help of your crest okay now the head which are the amount of water flowing excess over your weir and the weir scale are simply gauge you can see where the we measure the depth of water and crest or sill that is your top top of your weir where the water can be flow okay and the bottom edge of the notch we will discuss notches simply letter what is the difference between a notch and weir we discuss it at the end of the portion and drawdown we discussed the where the portion has been changed this is your drawdown the where the curve has been changing mind up to your crest that's called your drawdown okay and the velocity head okay then broad crested weir and sharp crested weir so what is the broad crested weirs mean this is your simply sharp crest mean the weir crest okay weir crest this is a sharp crested weir the weir crest is very sharp okay okay and where is the crest is the broad this is your broad crest this is called your simply broad crested weir this is your narrow crested weir or sharp sorry sharp crested weir and where the crest has been designed in the parabolic shape like this okay now instead of your sharp crested okay now we designed in this shape okay this is called your simply og og shape or og weir okay this is the exactly why because in the reservoir with such type of structures has been design because this see the nappy the nappy in which shape exactly in parabolic shape okay so the shape has been matched with this structure with this structure so based on this condition we can define the general formula for your weir the weir they may depends on your three parameter one is your q equals to your c l h power of m okay now the q is your simply amount of water or discharge of water flowing through your weir c is your constant and l is your length of your crest and head is your head depth of water flowing over a weir so c is your simply coefficient of your discharge that is depends on your geometry of your weir or simply say that crest okay cannot change the length because the width of your canal has been restriction and the head head arm means how much amount of head is created on your upstream side okay for a longer length it will make create needs to do higher cost okay higher cost and high head is if you create higher head so it is also be leads into the overflow condition and the cost so in this condition we have only one parameter that we can change your geometry that's called your city coefficient addition that may different varies with the different type of uh, vs so let us discuss based on the condition the nappy condition we create the different type of flow condition that is your free flow free fall condition that is your free nappy condition simple the water has been flowed in the atmosphere directly and where are the depressed nappy okay that this is the uh, when the water has been touched to the your structure of your weir and here also this is your king the entire portion the entire portion has been uh, meeting or touching with your uh, weir 
okay okay and this is your see this is your clinking nap it means the crest has been not falling in parabolic shape fear the the nappy has been the nappy has been increasing again it is coming decreasing okay the shape has been moving ahead again turning into back side that's called your clinging nappy okay and this is also called your simply the free nappy also called your aerated or a simple air uh, atmospheric okay not partially this is your depressed or partially and this is your unaerated means simply your okay clinging nappy okay and in downstream structure we will measure the head and this is the similar for different type of wear has been classified okay one is your sharp crested wear and broad crested wear narrow crested wear og wear in the sharp crested wear three wear has been again classified rectangular trapezoidal and triangular okay here the different type of wears this is your simply uh rectangular wear this is the rectangular wear also called your suppressed wear because the width of your canal this is the width of canal let's this is the l or simply b this is your length of crest both are same here l is equal to width length of your wear crest and width of your channel both are equal that's called it is suppressed wear where the length and the width not equal in this condition see your contrasted wear so that is maybe depend on one side and two sides okay and this, uh, this is your trapezoidal shape this is your uh, trapezoidal shape and this is your triangular shape okay or v notch okay v notch v in shape so different okay now sharp crested wear is simply here the length of your wear crest equal to width of your channel both are same that's called your simple suppressed wear here the width of your canal and length is not equal okay or simply length of your crest is less than your width okay this in here the two types of wear has been covered up to the this is your sides of your canal this is your sides or bottom sides of your canal okay this is your simply your uh, kind of contrasted okay this is your simple contrasted has been provided so here in this condition total width of your can uh, width of your uh, canal higher as compared to the crest length so in this condition see here this is also same similar example this is also similar example and the this type of thin edge see here the thin uh, thin edge has been provided very sharp edge very sharp edge see similarly here also the same sharp edge has been provided okay and so it will helps the water may flow cleanly simply free into atmosphere very sharp nappy has been provided be well on downstream side means angle has been provided in this direction like this so this is the way the slope has been provided or little bit angle has been provided to your downstream side okay these are the rectangular wear chiplet wear and v notch okay so let us see the one your rectangular wear so the amount of water na uh, the here the the shape of your crest is in v rectangular shape that's why it called your rectangular wear or uh, rectangular notch okay and the amount of water flowing over a particular wear that's called your simply head h okay, it is used for measuring the large amount of uh, discharge okay now let us discuss the uh, equal, um, formula for your wear triangular wear or v notch or we can say the simply 90 degree okay. now it is also measuring the very small or very less amount of water simply low head because see in this condition the vector in this parameter only the head is placed major role because in this condition the length of the crest has been eliminated here the there is no length l is the eliminated that's why and in this condition the sharp crest has been provided sharp crest has been provided so that's why the water flows in the very free fall condition that's called your simply nappy okay we discussed just now okay now the only one parameter head is measured uh, that is also at the upstream side that is a four times of your head okay and the slope has been provided outside okay. in the so so downstream the slope has been provided downstream the water is flowing over the particular wear less than the 5 cm so in this condition we will we will clear calibrate the wear so how will find the discharge particular uh, triangular wear so let us see sides are trapezoidal wear this also called your chiplet wear it is used for measuring the medium discharge medium discharge okay now the simply side slope of your particular wear has been provided here one horizontal 
and four vertical okay one horizontal four vertical this is the combination of your rectangular wear this is your rectangular wear also and your triangular wear this is your simply this is your, this is also your simply uh, your stipulity wear okay now that's why the wear discharge formula for this particular wear also be combination of your rectangular wear also be and v notch or trapezoidal wear similarly a liter per second and 18 centimeter so we can get this equation 0 0.0186 l power h power of 5 3 by 2 So next based on the increased again we are as been classified that is your broadcasted wear. Broadcasted wear yet the crest length or width is the large okay now or wider has been provided. So this has been provided because where the sedimentation uh, in the field has been creating problem in this condition uh, such type of wear has been provided. So this is the help in the creating the hydrostatic pressure here the condition which will create the hydrostatic pressure or pressure has been shorter distance okay in this condition the hydraulic jump okay now hydraulic jump has been created that's called your critical here the critical jump bar okay critical velocity has been created and the general formula for this wear is a uh, and in the velocity approach has been added in this condition the uh, wear formula We are the wear crest is very narrow in this condition this is a similar to a rectangular wear but the crest has been a little bit narrow and okay wear the crest has been provided the crest has been provided uh, in the shape of parabola that's your parabolic in shape so this is the reality in field condition the okay this is the machine structure this is your machine structure okay now the discharge has been uh, provided or calibrated to work if we are similar to your rectangular So now next one is your very simple one. I have submerged wear of okay, cap drawn wear. The we submerged condition means the water has been flowing through over through wear in your water itself. Okay, now I have been downstream here. Similarly, the water has been flowing into the particular water, not flowing into particular atmosphere or in downstream, like in this condition. This is called your free discharge wear. This is your drawn wear. So okay, in the submerged wear, the total discharge is calculated different between your uh, upstream side and downstream side.